Once upon a time, there was a videographer who wanted to buy a gimbal so he could get smooth footage from his iPhone 14 Pro like he saw on so many YouTube channels. He watched all the YouTube videos that said how wonderful the DJI Osmo Mobile 6 is. So he ordered one from Amazon. When it arrived, he went outside to try a simple jib shot where you raise the camera from the ground up high. He set the gimbal mode to tilt locked. But horrors! When he looked at the video, the camera tilted up to the sky. Then he tried an Inception-style barrel roll shot, and the gimbal arm was in the frame. Dismayed, the videographer read the user manual and saw the specifications. Wait a minute, what's this mechanical range versus controllable range? Well, the mechanical range is how far I can rotate the camera with my hand with the power off. And the controllable range is how far the joystick will rotate the camera. Or how far the gimbal will rotate the camera to counteract you rotating the gimbal. So indeed, the tilt range is a paltry 65 degrees. That's only two-thirds of the minimal 90 degrees or more needed for a jib shot. In his concern, our intrepid videographer decided to measure how much tilt the device could actually do. It came up reasonably close to the spec. How could this have been missed by all those YouTubers saying how wonderful the OM6 gimbal is? Just in case you might be thinking you should just buy an Insta360 Flow, which is also adored in most of the reviews, it has been measured to have an even smaller tilt range, plus 30 to minus 20, total of 50 degree range, and they do not publish their controllable ranges. But our videographer was puzzled by the roll spec, 275 degrees. That's about how far the camera rolled, but he decided to Trust but verify, so he measured how far the camera could roll before the arm interfered. The good news is the camera would almost do the 275 degree roll. It does just under 270. The bad news is about 40 degrees short of the full clockwise roll in landscape or portrait mode, the gimbal arm cuts off the bottom section of the image. If you use the ultra-wide iPhone camera, it can be obstructed by the clamp 100% of the time unless you move the phone slightly up in the clamp, which means the smartphone will be off balance, which may be an issue if you have a heavier phone or lens attachments. An alternative is to back off on the zoom to about 0.6 from the widest, which is 0.5. Miracle of miracles, the unit actually pans the full 190 degrees that's called out in the spec. We can work around the tilt constraint by rolling the gimbal to get our jib shot, but there's something else you gotta know. If you're not using the joystick to do the roll and you're rolling the gimbal itself while the camera stays level, the OM6 is smart enough to flip the camera upside down to try to avoid getting the gimbal arm in the frame. And that is not something you want in your videos. The point where that occurs differs whether we are in landscape or portrait mode, so we have to be careful which direction we roll. Let's try our jib shot. The way to remember which way to roll is, there's an R in portrait, so roll right to the ground in portrait. Once you're standing up, you can raise your arms over your head to get a fake drone shot. Landscape starts with an L, so we want to roll left when shooting landscape. Let's repeat our fake drone. Now you know how to work around the OM6 limited tilt range to create a dramatic jib and fake drone shot. 
If this video was useful, click like or subscribe below. Thanks for watching.